Miro Alin, a wooden freighter with a raised wheelhouse and large open deck, has been used for all sorts of jobs on the bay. After 90 years, a chronic leak in the forward end of the shaft log area developed, and fasteners between the horn timber and keel were long gone. Our carpenters Pete and Ernie use the sage orange trees from a friend's farm on the eastern shore. Our normal suppliers don't carry pine and oak pieces as big as we need them. Ernie and Pete milled the wood with a chainsaw to manageable sizes, then hand electric planed one surface smooth and ran them through our big bandsaw. The new and old pieces in the shaft log area were re-secured with custom made bronze bolts to replace the wasted away iron drifts and bolts. Some of these new bolts were welded to plates that neatly fit the dead rise and buttock lines. To seat the new prop shaft tube in stable wood, new and old pieces in the shaft lock area required milling. The new stuffing box and vertical piece of the dead wood were pre-drilled to accept the boring bar that was designed and fabricated by Peter Pell. Honing plates fastened to the fore and aft ends of the dead wood ensure that the boring bar is properly aligned. Milling through the grain can be quite a bear, and the strong, rot-resistant Osage orange required careful teamwork. Being keenly attuned to both feel and sound helps ensure a successful operation. Also, slightly dulling the auger reduced the drill from aggressively recoiling as it fit into the next vertical piece of the dead wood. With the new shaft log tube installed, we reassembled the running gear and painted the interior of the hull after the engine to the transom. With this large repair completed, we look forward to seeing Miri Eileen on the bay for many years to come. To learn more about this gnarly project, please visit proptalk.com backslash byboat.